Hello everyone, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in this video, what you're going to be doing is in this video, we're going to learn about get component function, which is pretty confusing for a few people, but it is very, very important. It's very useful in a lot of situations. So let's get started. So first of all, let me create a simple 3D game object, create 3 cube and let's add a simple script to it so add component new script and let's name it let's say test script Print add and let's open it in mono develop so as you can see this cube has a lot of different components attached to it say it has a box collider attached to it a mesh render attached to it and now let's add at component physics rigid body let's add a rigid body to it so as you can see we have all these components attached to this cube so now when I play this okay it takes some time first time okay so when I play this since it's it has a rigid body 2d component attached to it and it has the gravity checked so that means now this cube has a gravity and it will fall down now what if we want to access all these components from our script we know that we have access to this component from the inspector but what if we want to access these components from the script say I wanna I want to access this rigid body component and I want to disable this gravity so that this thing doesn't have any gravity and it doesn't fall down let's say I want to change the mass of it so that it uh, gives more impact or let's say I want to disable this box collider or maybe I want to change the size or do something like that so if we want to access any of the components that is attached to this game object from the script then we need to use get component function okay so get component function helps us to access any of the components which is attached to this game object so how do we write get component now before doing get component first of all let us be clear what we want to do so let's say I want to access this rigid body 2d component okay so since we want access to this rigid body 2d component I'm sorry this is not rigid body 2d this is a rigid body component so this, since this is a rigid body component so first of all we need to write we need to create a variable of rigid body and let's name it RB that is short for rigid body so we have created a variable RB which is of type rigid body and within this rigid body variable we want to store we want to get an instance or we want to get instance to this rigid body okay so we want access to this rigid body so in order to do that in the start function we want to do RB equals and then we write get component and after that we have a strange symbol we have a less than and greater than sign or something called an angle brackets and within this angle brackets we need to write what type of component we want so since we want to access the rigid body component so inside that we write rigid body and after that like normal function we need to write the opening and closing parentheses okay so this get component is a function which gives us access to type rigid body which we have attached here and stores that rigid body inside this rigid body variable so now we have access to this rigid body within this variable so now we can do all this stuff from here okay so now let's write RB this is the rigid body dot RB dot uh, let's say use gravity let's say use gravity to uh, what can I say or let's say I wanna change the variable velocity so that the cube starts moving so I can do RB dot velocity equals since it's a vector 3 so we need to write new vector 3 and inside that let's give it a velocity in the x direction let's say I wanna give uh, 1 velocity for the y0 for the z0 okay so now what happens is when the game starts 
this thing will get a very this rigid body will get a velocity of 1 in the x axis and this q will start moving in the x axis so now if i go and play this scene as you can see okay since it has a gravity so we will not get this so from here let's uncheck this gravity now run this now as you can see it has a velocity in the right direction so we are able to change the velocity from our script the same way we will also be able to change all these components from our script and we will be able to access any component we want let's say we want to access this box collider from the component from the script so we just create a variable of type box collider box collider bc and say inside the start function we want to get access to it so inside start function we write the same way bc equals get component and inside that we write box collider so now we have access to this box collider and we can do whatever we want with it we can change the size or do whatever we want now one more thing as you can see we can use we can get access to all the components that has been attached to this game object so the same way we can also get access to the scripts that has been attached to this so let's say from one script I wanna get access to another script which is attached to it so let's go and create a new script here let's say I wanna uh, or here we have another script let's say I wanna create a new script so add component new script and let's name it second script and create an add so now say in this second script we have a public variable let's say I'm create a public variable named public int var and let's give it a value of 5 so this is a public variable and let's say we want to access this public variable from this script since this script is also attached to it so we can get access to it in order to do that we need to proceed the same way the same way we need to create a variable of type second script let's say second script sc and in the start function the same way we need to get access to that script by writing sc equals get component and inside that i need to write second script okay so now we have access to this script in this script right here the same way we can access any component we can also access other scripts so let's say I want to print the value var the var the variable var that we have created here here so I write let's say I create a new variable or say just I want to print so I write debug.log and inside that I write sc dot var since this var is part of this script so we are accessing that script from here and we are accessing the variable of this script also from here okay so we are printing the value of this variable so if I run this right now as you can see it prints 5 so this is how you access to any component that has been attached to a game object by using this function named get component. Now remember, you always have to write this curly bra this angular brackets and inside that you have to write the type of component that you want to access and you need to store that component inside a variable of that type. Okay? Pretty simple. So you need to create a variable of the type which you want to access let's say box collider or rigid body or anything and you need to get component get a component or get access to the component which is attached to that and you need to store that inside this variable and then you can do whatever you want from this inspector you can do all these things from uh, right from the script here and you can also access other scripts this way okay so I hope you guys find this helpful this is going to be pretty useful in a lot of situations because in a lot of situations you're going to be using get component to get access to this. Now a lot of people get confused to this so I tried to keep it as simple as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet 
yeah subscribe now so thank you guys for watching have a great day and see you in next tutorial so goodbye